Hi guys, and welcome to Boss Picture. I'm James Warney, and today I'm going to show you how to whiten teeth in Photoshop. Okay, here are some teeth I found. They are very good looking teeth, but not particularly white. So two steps. We need to first make the teeth white, and then we will increase the overall sheen on the front of the teeth, in effect making them pop and stand out. So first things first, we move to the left-hand side of the screen and we need to select the lasso tool here. And I will use this tool to trace around the teeth, like so. And as you can tell, I'm not being so precise right now and no need to be particularly Later on, I will be creating a mask, which will help me to make any changes should I need to. If you feel you want to be more precise, it's fine, because as you can see, areas have been missed. I can select Shift on my keyboard and just trace around areas that have been missed, which will then become inclusive of the actual selection. So that looks quite good. Had I actually, let's say, gone across the lips like this, I can actually select Alt on my keyboard, which will help me to deselect that area. Like so. And just a little bit more. Perfect. So very good selection so far. Okay, guys, the next thing we need to do is to make the edges of our teeth selection smoother. Um, we do this by going to the top of the screen and choosing Select and Mask, which will invoke this layer style. On the right hand side, we have Feather and we need to move the cursor to the right hand side. Let's say until we get to about 9, 9.1, that's fine, and press OK. And now our teeth selection is actually complete. Now that we have our teeth selection, I'm going to turn it into a layer mask and then put that layer mask into a group. And finally, put some layers inside of the group. Please stay with me, you're doing so well. Okay, first thing we need to do is go to the bottom of the screen and choose new layer, as you can see. And now we need to group that layer by itself or on itself. On our keyboard, we choose Command G or Control G. As you can see, the group has been created with a folder and it's highlighted and that's where we want to be. Now that we have that group, we need to select the layer mask button at the bottom of the screen over here automatically, as you can see, it has created a layer mask. Now we need to create an adjustment layer. So we move to the bottom of the screen and I'm going to choose new adjustment. And on here, I'm going to choose hue stroke saturation. And the first thing I want to do is to select colorize, which as you can see has made the teeth a bit purpley. The hue and the saturation sliders are what we're going to work with. And I'm going to start first with the hue slider and I'm going to move it from the left to the right. And I'm looking for more of a desaturated color. So let's have a look. Oh, my laptop looks like it's running low. I'm just going to plug it in. Close that. Okay. So moving the hue slider from left to right, and as you can see, it turns green, but we want to, we don't want to take it too far. We want to start again from the left and we want to desaturate the color. So before it turns green, so we're looking at about 16, 16, 17, we'll leave it 17 here. And then also saturated uh, the saturation slider, we basically work the same. So starting from the left, moving to the right, and I think that's about, that is actually quite good, but we'll keep moving to the right until we get a funny color. Now it's, we're getting a reddish coming in. So we don't want that. So we go back to the left and we're, it's, it's really trying to find a sweet spot. And that sweet spot I believe is around 20 or 21, that's fine. So, Already the teeth are looking very good. If I go to my group and I turn that off and on, you can actually see the difference, quite a difference. 
Okay, so as far as teeth whitening uh, is taking place and going, a lot has actually been done. Now that we have desaturated the teeth um, and they look pretty good, we move on to the next step, which is to go to the bottom of the screen and choose new adjustment layer. And this time we're going to choose a curves layer. And I'm going to move the curve upwards. And as you can see, everything becomes really, really bright. And there's a reason for this. The brightness is being applied across all the teeth instead, instead of just where the teeth are somewhat darker or a bit more shadier. Now, to make it more visible where it's darker, um, we're going to have to click on the right hand side of the curves layer, which invokes this layer style dialog. Let me get rid of this. And within this dialog is playing with the underlying layer here and these sliders. The slider we want is this one, moving it from right to left. So I'm going to press Alt to Option and click, which breaks the actual slide in half. And let me just make move this so you can see the teeth. And look out for the change. I'm moving it towards the left and I'm going to continue until I get natural color. And then we'll see what happens. Everything becomes, you can still see the shaded areas. Now, if I move it back to the right a little bit, now you can see the teeth do fill out again. So we just want the point where the teeth actually fill out, which is there. And then now I will play with the other slider and I'm going to bring it forward as well, or to the left. And now I'm going to continue going. And as you can see, everything becomes darker, darker, darker. And I don't want that. I want it to keep everything full. So just about, so not too bright again. I want to bring it in. So just about here, perfect. And press OK. Because at the beginning we created a layer mask on the group, we don't have to keep adding different layer masks on each layer. We have one layer mask, which is working for all current layers, which is great. So we have our hue saturation layer. We have our curves layer, which is lightening the darker areas really. And everything is within the group. And now we will focus on lightening the light areas of the teeth. Now I'm going to choose new layer. I'm going to go to the left hand side of the screen and select my marquee tool and select the teeth. Okay, now I'm going to select shift and delete and I'm going to fill with white. And the reason why it's selecting the teeth area only is because we did create a mask on the group. I'm going to double click on the right hand side of the actual layer, which will bring the original layer style dialog that we had before. And once again, we're going to play with the underlining layer here. And what we're really going to be working on is that sheen on front of the teeth. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to hold down Alt Option on my keyboard and I'm going to drag the cursor here or this pointer to the right hand side. And I'm going to keep going and keep going. Now look at the teeth and look at the change that's going to happen. Okay, all the way. We're looking for a natural look because remember, it's, it's, it is rather bright, isn't it? So keep going. And then I'm going to play with the other slider similarly. Okay, now this is the one that's most important. And if you, we're going to start again from the left. And if you take a look, Everything is really bright. Now we don't want it to get too dark. Once it gets dark, in some areas we stop. But you can see the sheen on the teeth have, has come on really well. So I'll, I'll just keep going. Okay, as you can see, things are getting dark now. So then I come back. Okay. Uh huh. And I'll stop there. Okay, perfect. Now I'll press OK. Now, as far as teeth whitening goes, that is it. It's all done. Let me just make that a bit smaller. So here are the perfect teeth. We worked on the color and also we worked on the lightness of the teeth. I hope you liked the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share the link with your friends. Uh, thank you very much for watching Boss Picture and I'll boss you later. Okay, bye bye.